kind of crunch through it if you had a, you know, a pair of wire cutters. But this right here is number six solid copper, so, so yeah, you know, we'll try and make a nice clean cut. Is this that will get us a file here. Kind of hit the ends and clean it up a bit. And all we want to do is make sure that this fits right over just like that. And um, this will kind of lay right across there like that and we'll tap off of this at those points and put them right to our lugs. So when we tune this um, I'll go ahead and um, we'll put our meter right on the lugs and we'll tune this across using the actual uh, cables and all that and, and try to get a nice little uh, calibrated thing. So right now what we're going to do is we're going to go ahead and solder this to it and um, up such that this is going to get hot so what we want to do is I'm, I put this together for this reason this is for when I solder the soldering lugs and and uh, such things you got to get them pretty hot for that to solder right for that solder to get down inside there and uh, you know I burnt my my mat up plenty times I said you know what I need to make a piece of ceramic this is a, a ceramic tile that I have soldered together to make a nice um, heat shield for soldering for just this type of application so I can go ahead and get that as hot as I want and it is not going to melt my mat. Okay. This thing around here. I don't want that completely butted up there. In fact, uh, let's go ahead and uh, measure twice and cut once. All right. Get our marker again and mark this so we have this length right. Just like that. And now we can go ahead and chuck this up. So it does not move. And we'll just kind of Push that down to where they meet, like that, and we'll start laying a little love on it. Now I've got the, my soldering iron turned up to uh, 875 degrees, so it shouldn't take a super long time to do this. But, uh, Anyway, this is starting to uh, really get hot now. It's hard to understand what's going on. And there's our solder blob at the bottom. So we'll see our cupeth is full. And 
there we have our semi-known resistance drop across the circuit and should be able to therefore calculate a voltage drop across the resistor. That's just water. That won't hurt that. This back. Clean up my mess a little bit here. Ooh, she's a little warm. Not bad. I wouldn't put my tongue on it, but it's not too bad. All right, and uh, here we have our jig set up and you simply put that on there and we'll go ahead and uh, fix that to it. those down there and maybe we'll go ahead and grab us a couple I've got them in here there's a lock nut lock washer rather and we'll go ahead and those down. Performance. This should uh, get us to measure at least 30 amps. Just adjust. Now we'll uh, get us some wire and uh, solder the wire from here to here and take a measurement reading to, for calibration and uh, see how she comes out. So we'll be right back. Okay, so we got a little bit of water. A little bit of water. And a little bit of wire. And we'll go ahead and strip this off. ahead and solder these on here. And remember when you're soldering you heat your work up and let the solder flow to your work. I see so many people putting solder on the soldering iron and then putting it to the work and expecting it to transfer. You just save yourself a lot of grief. And the object is to heat your work up, then apply the solder, and if you do that you'll find the solder will flow to your work. This one on here. Goes right to it just like a river of well molten lead. Okay. This is uh, 70, I think 73. Right okay, 